Hey guys, happy Friday! So today is the last day of the five-part series of the five different body types. I'm so glad you have um, joined this journey with me. And today we're going to jump into the last one, which is the hourglass shape. Hey y'all, hey, happy Friday. So I am back with the last day and number five of the five part series for the five body types. And today is hourglass, um, last but not least hourglass. And I'm gonna be the example for this body type. Um, as you can see, I'm standing up today. I also have some examples back here to show you. And um, yeah, I got my little paper to keep me in line. Um, so yes, for the hourglass shape, it is someone who has a fuller bust, someone who has a more defined waist, and someone with fuller, rounder hips. Your ratio from shoulder to waist to hip is going to be four to four. And um, when I mean, when, I, when I'm giving these ratios, they're basically, um, it's a guide and a balance of what you, um, so for instance, like my measurements would, my actual measurements would be um, parallel or should be parallel to, um, from my waist to hip my shoulder to waist to hip. So my shoulders should be parallel to my hips and my waist will be um, smaller than the two. Um, as is a pear shape, when you take your measurements, your shoulder, um, your shoulder and waist, your shoulder is going to be smaller than um, the waist and then the waist will be smaller than the hip, of course. So if you, um, it's gonna go, the pair, of course, you know what a pear shape like, it goes like that. So your ratio, when you take your measurements, it's gonna be smaller to bigger. Um, the first one we did with the rectangle shape, it was pretty much parallel, straight up and down. Um, so it should have been like, all the it should be all the same not necessarily the same number but very close um so yes 424 is the ratio for an hourglass some of your styling goals would be to um <clears throat> excuse me highlight your curves and that's always you know de defining that waistline um showing off that waistline and um to for more proportion balance of the bo of both your upper body and your lower body um, at the same time, you want to invest in, you know, deep necklines, scoop neck, um, V's, boat necks, a wrap dress or top is always bomb for hourglass shape. And that's what I'm wearing today. Uh, peplum tops, skirts and dresses. I'm not a big fan of peplums because I feel like I never find one that sits properly um on my abdomen I got a little belly and so I don't like nothing like sitting on top of my belly it you need to be above this roll or below it <laughs> um bodycon dresses belts to accent the waist boot cut jeans and straight leg I'm not a fan of boot cut but I can appreciate a straight leg jean boot cut is um I don't know, they just give me um, older lady. <laughs> so um, you wanna stay away from high necklines, which is crazy because I love a good turtleneck. I am a turtleneck girl. And you wanna stay away from low rise jeans. I don't, like I said, I don't like nothing that's going to be like in between this little roll right here. You either need to be up here or I'm not wearing it. Uh, <laughs> And overly embellished dresses, skirts, jackets, whatever. Um, like I said, I am a fan of sequins, fringe. I love embellishment. Check the earrings. But um, I also think it's all about the placement of how you're wearing the embellishments. And I have some examples to show you guys. Um, and let's see. And you want to stay away from straight and boxy stuff. 
um because that doesn't accent the waist and if you've noticed throughout this series everything is always about creating the look of an hourglass figure so from rectangle to inverted triangle to um, apple to pear it ends up here because all of them um, give you examples of creating the illusion of um, what a woman is supposed to look like and um, you know it's someone uh, messaged me the other day in one of the comments and was like um, you know they don't like their apple figure and I was like it's I have I have a hard time dressing my body a lot of times so you know I don't think any shape is perfect I don't think any weight is perfect I think everyone struggles and have you know different issues with their own bodies regardless of what the shape size or height is <clears throat> um but the beauty of it is learning and being able to um dress it how you want it to be and feeling comfortable with the way you dress it and so that's why i did this series and i hope that it was able to help you guys and that you enjoyed it and you had fun and so i'm going to um move on with what i have on today and it is a faux wrap dress and when i mean faux it's not one that i wrap myself it's already made like a wrap dress it's a deep v-neck um the lines on this dress are they're like vertical so it does not create a look for my hips to look wider i think if it was full on horizontal it my hips will look wider um i got a little ruching here which hides the belly and then i got a little ruffle here on the side um and then it's like a it kind of sits you know on a um like a princess seam it sits like kind of not on the hip but like a little bit inside the hip so it gives you you know a smaller you're, you're i'm bringing my attention to here so you see how it's all creating um that hourglass shape you know with hourglasses it's always coming inward and that's how this is doing so it's bringing your attention like that if that makes any sense <laughs> um so yes it's definitely um figure flattering it's right above the knee because of my height i wouldn't go below the knee um and i learned that a long time ago this video is going to be a little bit longer y'all um but i learned a long time ago that um based on your height is um what's gonna make a skirt look good i always wanted a pleated skirt and in my midst of being in retail i learned from a client that um i was like man i wish because she was taller but she was definitely full figured and curvy and um I was like, I would love to wear a pleated skirt. She was like, oh, baby, you can. It just, just make sure that it's above your knee. And I was like, hmm, I never really thought about that. So I found me a pleated skirt, <laughs> and it was above the knee, and it was cute. And it came, like, right here up on my waist. So it was high-waisted and above the knee, and it was so cute. But I had sold that skirt, and I kind of hate it, but it is what it is. So I'm going to move on to... Um, some pieces that I like first <laughs> um, that I think accent my body shape and um, and I'll tell you why. Um, so this is a sequence top. It's one of my favorites. Um, I call it vintage and it's a, a thrifted top. And um, the reason why I feel like this is um this does well on my on my shape one because you can tell how it comes in it's narrow at the waist and it comes in you know at the hem so it's not fall it's it falls right right above my hips 
and um, so it, it's very um, it, it defines the waist for sure but the print of it is bigger and it's dark so um, if I wear something with well what I've worn with this were straight leg jeans fitted straight leg jeans and I also wore black tights with it um, the bottom was dark so it didn't look um, I didn't look heavier it still looked very proportionate um, this is actually a two-piece set and it's um, flattering because the print is very big and I wouldn't consider this horizontal it's kind of going like inward so it makes the body look uh, slimmer in a way it's bringing everything in like I say your attention is drawn like inward and um, so another one of those dresses this is the dress that I was talking about on the last video that I wore for um, New Year's Eve one year and um, those embellishments <laughs> but it was really nice because if you, you can see the deep V and also it cut here so I'm not wearing this on the bottom. And um, and then the, the fringe covers, um, you know, all of the access hip, you know? And it's not a lot. And it's all the same color too, which also helps. I think if the dress or the fringe were a different color, say the dress were black and the fringe were white, I wouldn't have done that because I feel like it would have made my hips look wider. Um, this dress I think is a really cute example one because it has a deep V but it's also it also has a um, a long um, a longer waist so it acts it's it stops it starts right at my waistline so it accents my waist and then it flares over my hips so it's really cute and last but not least one of my favorite jackets um, this is also a thrifted piece and when you button it, it's cinched in and it's also, it also comes to a point here right before the hip area, which, um, again, draws the attention here. So. Um, anything that draws the attention inward inward is creating a smaller waist and accenting the hip um, or you know drawing not so much attention to the hip so hopefully that was fun um, you were able to kind of understand the gist of um, actually wait y'all got two more things <laughs> And they, one is a, um, they're both a pair of pants. And this is a pair of pants with a heavy print. It's not even really a print. I think it, well, it's just like a watercolors. And it's really big and dark. And um, it has a paper bag waist. Um, it also has pleats here that define this area. So it brings, you know, this area in. It has pockets and it has back um, flat pockets, which is also um, a positive for someone who's more rounded and heavier at the bottom. Flat pockets are always a plus. And the same with these pens. It's a dark army green there. Um, a paper bag waist. A paper bag waist is a waist that has some ruching here and it kind of brings it in like a paper bag. <laughs> um, and it also has the flat pockets in the back. So, and it's um, the, the legs for both of these were straight legs. So they're not wide and they're not skinny. So, yes, now that is the end of it. And um, I hope you had fun. Um, I hope this was very helpful. I had fun. And it's the end of it, y'all. So like, um, 
comment, share some of your pictures, invite people to Facing Fashion, and um, hopefully I'll come up with another series and we'll have fun with that one too. Love y'all. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope that you come back for more. Please stay tuned. Go and like Facing Fashion on Facebook. Thank you.